Now you guys know I love a good adventure, and we're going to meet the adventure man himself today, Mr. John Dalton from Creek Fishing Adventures. Now last time you guys saw me, I drove about two and a half hours away from the house up into the mountains to a lake that I'd never been to before, and ended up catching some pretty big smallmouth bass. Well today, we're driving another two and a half hours into the mountains, the complete opposite direction to a lake that I actually have been to one time before, but it was like five years ago. And last time I was here, I was with Mr. Caleb Bell and Gene Jensen himself, the fluke master. And when I was here, we ended up catching some fish pretty good. Now this little lake, I like to call it Lake X because it is a special place. There's been a lot of big fish caught here, including by John and Caleb and several other people that I know. And so we're going to meet John down here. We're gonna see what we can get done today. I'm very interested to see what happens because it's April in East Tennessee in a little mountain lake that not very many people fish very often. And so some magic could happen today. It couldn't happen today. I don't know until we get out here and that's what we're going to find out. We're going to see what's happening at this lake and obviously go see our buddy, Mr. John Dalton. And hopefully, like normal, get into some sort of weird adventure or something. Cause every time me and John get together, we normally have fun. So yeah, that's what's happening today. We're heading up into the mountains, about two and a half hours away from the house. Stay tuned, let's see what happens. I'm excited about today. Hopefully you guys are excited about today. Without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get into this thing. It's funny when you tell people like from up north that we've got 15 inch perch, man, they like freak out. They're like, oh my God, those are giants. I'm like, yeah, sure. There we go. That ain't a perch. What I got here, oh yeah. That's a good little large mouth. Heck yeah. Look at him. He's gonna come up here. Come here, bud. You're a pretty little decent one. Heck yeah. There you go. Well, buddy, I didn't mean for you to eat it that deep. I thought you were perch jacking with it, so I was just letting him swim around with it. Heck yeah, that's a good little fish right there. Ain't no giant, but he's a little decent one. Sliming up the new kayak. It's the first video you guys seen in the new kayak. So there you go. Awesome. Good stuff. Well, boys and girls, surprise, surprise. I've switched up to the old Ned rig again. But that's what happens when the wind ain't blowing and you're on a lake that's super clear and deep. You gotta break out the Ned rig and so there you go. There's the first fish on the Ned rig in the new kayak. I just realized that. It's the first fish in the new kayak. Yeah, I had a purse to start it out with and then got me a little largemouth there. So, heck yeah. There's another perch. Nope. What is this? A trout. I caught a trout. <laughs> heck yeah. Come here, you little rainbow trout, you. <laughs> that's awesome man oh that's cool hey uh, that's awesome hey get you unhooked buddy oh yeah heck yeah guys check that out that is awesome so the two times i've ever caught a trout in my life i've caught them with you on accident on a net rig that's awesome get out of here buddy heck yeah that's cool man <laughs> heck yeah a little rainbow trout on the Ned rig. Well, guys, <laughs> that's fun. I got a perch, a trout, and a largemouth. Oh, that's good stuff, man. It's a good way to slime up the kayak for the first time. I mean, and heck, if you're going to do it, if you're going to do it. All right, guys, we're going to shoot across to this other bank. John's went back in this pocket right here, but these fish seem to be on this more bluffed out stuff, eating the Ned rig. And if I remember correctly from the last time I was here, it kind of, the creek channel kind of swings in and then swings back out, and it's deeper on this side. And so we're going to go over here on this bluff and just float down it, kind of doing the same thing, just casting the Ned rig up there and working it off of these more bluff style walls. 
you know, obviously not hammering them so far. We've got a large mouth perch and a trout, but those bites don't mean nothing. You know, it shows you just a little piece of the puzzle. And just, you know, kind of when I'm breaking down a lake, even though I've been here two or three times now, it's only probably my third time here, I think. You know, I gotta pick every little piece of the puzzle and kind of start putting it together. And there's an obvious reason that all those fish sit there, whether it be current, the channel swing, you know, or all of those factors together, there's a reason those fish are sitting there. And so we're gonna go over here and start fishing down this wall and just kind of stay in some of that little bit deeper water, kind of zigzag back and forth and just kind of figure out which bank they wanna be on. another trout man that is so cool that is so cool i'm catching these trout like this so get my hand wet and make sure we're doing this right there we go bud man that is so cool oh you're slippery ah yeah stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it, stop it, stop it. there we go that is so cool guys check that out it'll be rainbow trout so if i'm not mistaken all those trout are stalker trout so those are stocked in here i mean um by various state agencies that stock this place because if, if i remember right it's like three different states that actually stock this lake so that's cool that's still cool uh, you know i just don't catch a whole lot of trout ever and to caught two trout just today that's pretty that's pretty fun there's another one guys I'm telling you i should have brought a freaking cooler with me because i'd be i'd be filling it up right now okay i'm about to start keeping these things like no joke I got a cooler that I can keep them enough to eat them. And I'm seriously about to start keeping these things. Like, that is number... I, I literally don't even know. Like, I have literally caught 50 perch by now. It's every cast. Alvin Bragg, when he takes over the office, where he was kind of struggling because he felt like Cohen didn't have strong enough information. They couldn't quite put the pieces together. And so, and he only had a few weeks. Um, the, the clock was ticking when he took over. He only had a few weeks to make a decision about whether or not to charge. They already had the grand jury and panels, and they were already going to be the All right, step. I'm keeping them. So he decides we're not going to move forward. We Come here, you. One. You're the first one that's going to die. Sorry, bud. We're putting them in this cooler right here. Should be enough. Snacks out. A little bit of water in there. There's the first one. There's another one. Come on with me, bud. You can go up there with a crankbait like in the fall, man, and just, I mean, hammer them. There's a good one. No, oh, that's a trout. <laughs> that's a trout. Yeah, it is a good trout. Look at him. <laughs> man, what a jumper. Come here, bud. Come here. I'm probably doing this all wrong, and I don't really care, guys. I mean, I don't even know how they're slimy. Lord have mercy. 
this thing's like trying to hold on to a slimed up i don't know what come here stop it stop stop there we go look at that that's a good trout if i like trout i'd keep him but i don't like trout wow what a pretty fish though look at that all right buddy get on back thank you man those are all stalkers though they ain't natural trout i've never seen trout in here really every, every time i've been here i've i've been here in the winter and everything it's the first time i've seen trout but i'm sure they well they may have stocked the lake i mean obviously they stocked it but yeah uh, he pounded it man them little trout knocked the fire out of it dude that's fun <laughs> he said Bruh. There we go. There's another one. I'm gonna stop telling you what we're going for. Or what. Hey, let's go over here and catch this. This is enough. Yeah. Let's just show up here, whatever, bring everything. Yeah. Every lure, every rod. Yep. I don't know where we're going to go. Well, today we got ourselves a catch and cook, is what we got ourselves. Old Alex is going to go home and fillet up some, uh, some perch. And eat him some perch. Oh, come on. Did I really hang that right in that tree? Come on, come out of there. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I knew the size. I knew there wasn't no size. I just didn't know about. Dude, there's a pile of them right under the kayak. Got another one. <laughs> Uh, hell, you're just gonna lay there for a minute until I catch me another one of these things. well boys and girls we have caught ourselves a mess of perch to say the least in that little bitty lunch box right there i have probably got 15 perch and then my boy john has got like six or seven that he's going to give to me as well so we have got a mess of perch to cook up when we get to the house now right now i'm making my way back into where we put in at and i'm going to hit some of these areas where i saw those big largemouth swimming around i want to see if we can finish up today by picking up some of those largemouth drew them out with the coal shad those fish showed themselves and they wouldn't bite the coal shad so now i'm going to go back with the wacky rig and throw it in some of those same areas and see if i can get them to bite because there's one of these largemouth that i saw that was five plus pounds and so i would love to be able to put my hands on that fish and so we just gotta go back there and see if they're gonna bite but yeah that's where we're at right now we've got us some some good eating to do this afternoon when we get home we'll fillet these fish up batter them up i'll show you guys that whole process kind of how i like to cook fish and then uh hopefully before we go do that we go catch us a six pounder but then yeah this would think would be like violent imagery for a garden where there's a the pond it's a Good stuff right there, bud. Oh, hater, bud. Start to perch your bite, Mary. Oh, yeah, bud. Them fillets are little, but they're good. 
Well, boys and girls, here we are. It is the next day, obviously, because I'm not in the attire that I was when this video started, and I'll be totally honest with you. It's probably one of the sweetest things ever. It's not the sweetest thing ever, but it's definitely one of the sweeter things that Bethany's ever done. So I've had a really busy day today, mowed the yard, took care of a bunch of stuff, and Bethany forgot that we were doing a catch and cook video. So we got the catching, we got the cleaning, but we don't got the cooking because Bethany went ahead and cooked the fish for us. And so there's our little perch fillets all fried up and good to go. And my buddy Vinny would be proud because of what we're eating it with. And what we're eating it with is a little bit of red beans and rice. We got some fried perch over here, got us a DDP. And then Bethany also fried up some beignets with beignet mix that my buddy Vinny sent to me from Louisiana. So we're having a kind of, I don't know, Northern like perch, fried perch, Southern <laughs> red beans and rice and beignet dinner tonight. So I'm sure you guys can understand that, you know, you didn't get to see the cooking part, but it's really simple. A little bit of cornmeal, salt, pepper in the batter, egg wash, dip it in the cornmeal, fried until it's done. That's how I do my fish. That's how my papa did my fish. I mean, it's just is what it is. So there you go, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And you need to um, these beans for them. These are good. Yeah, they are good. Uh, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna eat, and I'll see you guys later.